Hello everyone, in this video I am going to solve Cambridge O-Level Additional Mathematics Paper 2 in a session October-November 2020 Paper 2-2. So let's start with question 1. Question number 1, solve the inequality. So let me simplify this um, first, taking the product multiplying by x and minus 8. We have x square minus 10x and minus 8x and minus times minus is plus 80 and minus 35 is greater than 0. So here we have x square minus 18x and from 80 take away 35 let me check 80 minus 35 is 45 we have plus 45 that is greater than 0 okay so we have to find the values, uh, the factors. It's a quadratic equation in the variable x. So this is um, 1 times 45 is 45. And let me find the factors of 45. We have um, 3 times of 15 is 45. And from 15 plus 3, we have 18, right? So x square minus uh, 15x minus 3x plus 45 is greater than 0 right now let me take x common we have um, x minus 15 and negative 3 common x minus 15 is greater than 0 so the two factors are x minus 15 and x minus 3 is greater than 0 so from here the x value is equals to 3 and x is equals to 15 right now let's see uh, uh, how can you do the inequality so let me explain you so it is a quadratic equation right so it graph look like a parabola so this is a quadratic equation in a variable x it graph is a parabola the x square coefficient is positive so the opening of the parabola is upward this is the shape of the parabola and we have the uh, two x value positive 3 and positive 15 let's say this is 3 and this value is 15 okay now we need to find when it is greater than 0 the above portion when the output is positive so when the values are less than 3 and more than 15 this is positive right so we can say that when x is less than 3 and when x is greater than 15 um, this inequality holds right okay now moving to question number two find the value of x such that this equals to this okay so we have 4 2 32 and 8 so we need to convert all of them to the power of 2 so 4 is 2 scale so we have 2 scale whole exponent x plus 1 divides 2 exponent x minus 1 32 is uh, 2 power 5 and its power is x by 3 and 8 is 2 cube and its power is 1 by 3 right so now let me simplify so this is 2 power 2 x plus 2 multiplying 2 with x plus 1 and then shifting this um, uh, x minus 1 to the numerator so it will become minus x plus 1 and this is 2 power uh, 5x over 3 and cube is cancelled with cube times 2 power 1 so add 1 bases are same we add the powers right okay now we have 2 power x plus 3 and here we have 2 power 5 by 3x plus 1, right? Now we have the same basis, uh, 2 and 2. We can compare the powers and get the value for x. So the powers are x plus 3 and here we have 5 by 3x plus 1, right? So x minus 5 by 3x equals to 1 minus 3. So it is x minus 5 by 3. 1 minus 5 by 3, that is minus 2 by 3x. Minus 2 by 3x equals to minus 2, right? So x value is minus 2 times the reciprocal of this uh, term, that is uh, negative 3 by 2. 
so you can cancel 2 and 2 and the negative sign so the x value is equals to 3 question 3 part a find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a line the perpendicular bisector the slope must be negative reciprocal joining the points 12 1 and 4 3 giving your answer in the form of y equals to mx plus c okay so we have given the two points we need to find the midpoint and the slope right so first let me do the midpoint midpoint is x1 plus x2 divides 2, 12 plus 4 divides 2, and 1 plus 3 divides 2. So we have 12 plus 4 divides 2, this is 8, and 1 plus 3 divides 2, 1 plus 3 divides 2, this is 2. So a2 is the midpoint, now let's do the slope. Uh, this is uh, y2 minus y1, this is y2, this is y1, 3 minus 1 over x2 minus x1, 4 minus 12. So 3 take away 1 is 2 and from 4 um, take away 12 is 8 minus 8, 4 minus 12 is minus 8, yes. So minus 1 by 4 and when we do the slope of perpendicular bisector that is negative and reciprocal of 1 by 4 is 4 and negative times negative is positive now the equation of line is y equals to mx plus c y equals to m value is the slope x plus c and to get the value for y intercept we need to put this midpoint uh, 8 2 here so when x is 8, y is 2. So we have 2 equals to 4 times 8 plus c. So 2 minus 4 times 8, 32. Minus 32 equals to the c value and from 32 take away 2 is equals to minus 30. So we can say that the equation is y equals to m is 4, x minus 30. Right. Now for part B, the perpendicular bisector cuts the axis at point A and B, find the length of um, AB. Okay, so this is equation of perpendicular bisector, y equals to 4x minus 30, right? So if it cuts x-axis, means y equals to 0 right and we have 4x minus 30 equals to 0 and from here 4x equals to 30 and x value equals to 30 by 4 and this is 30 divides 4 7.5 right and for y axis um, x equals to 0 right so put x equals to 0 y equals to 4 times of 0 minus 30 so here y equals to minus 30 right so we can say that the points a b coordinates for a and b are uh, 7.5 is the x component and the y component is 0 and for b x is 0 and the y is minus 30 right now we need to find the length of a b right so we need to use the distance formula the length formula l is equals to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so 7.5 whole square plus negative of 30 whole square right and the square root so let's do this one so 7.5 square 7.5 square plus 30 square and square root of answer 30.923 or 30.9 is the length of AB. Question number 4. Solve the simultaneous equations. So let me rearrange the first equation. So log base 3x plus y equals to 2. And from here x plus y equals to uh, 3 um, power 2. Or we can say x plus y equals to 9. This is my first equation. 
and from the second equation uh, we can take this 2 to the power so log base 3 x plus 1 square equals to log base 3 y plus 2 right now we have log base 3 log base 3 we can cancel on both sides right and we have x plus 1 whole square equals to y plus 2 right and uh, this is my second equation right okay now let me get the value of uh, let me solve the y here y equals to 9 minus x the third equation and substituting this y value into my second equation we have uh, x plus 1 whole square y value is 9 minus x plus 2 or let me open the square as well so x square plus 2x plus 1 plus x equals to 9 plus uh, 2 that is uh, 11 right okay now we have um, x square plus 3x and 1 subtract 11 that is minus 10 this is equals to 0 right now we have a quadratic equation in a variable x uh, let me find the factors 1 times 10 is 10 and um, 3 uh, no 2 times 5 is 10 yes x scale uh, minus 2x plus 5x and minus 2 plus 5 is 3 minus 10 equals to 0 x is common x minus 2 is left plus 5 is common x minus 2 equals to 0 so the factors are x minus 2 and x plus 5 this is equals to 0 and from here the x value is 2 and x value is equals to minus 5 right now let's check which value we have to use right so if we take with a negative when x uh, the negative value so let's find the y values corresponding and then we will check at the end so y is 9 minus x right so let's solve the y here so for this y equals to 9 minus 2 and from here y equals to 9 minus minus 5 right so y equals to 7 here and y equals to let me do 9 plus 5 is 14 right so we have two values x and y you can say this is can be 2 7 or we have minus 5 and 14 right now let's see which satisfy our equation because it's a logarithmic equation may be negative not valid so let me check at 2 7 right so when you put 2 and 7 so log of 2 plus 7 that is equals to so 2 plus 7 is 9 and 2 plus 1 is 3 and 7 plus 2 is 9 so this is okay but for the next point when x is minus 5 and y is 14 let's check for the first equation uh, log of x plus y minus 5 plus 14 so log 9 that is fine and minus 5 plus 1 that is log of negative 4 and log of negative number does not exist so uh, the negative value does not satisfy the second equation so we can say the only solution is 2 7 x is 2 and y is 7 that's satisfying the equation now question number five do not use a calculator in this question part a find the equation of tangent to the curve at a point where x is one okay so the equation of tangent equation of tangent is y minus y naught equals to m into x minus x naught x naught and y naught is the point so x naught is 1 what is y naught substituting x naught equals to 1 we will get the y value so what is y equals to 1 minus 6 plus 3 plus 10 right let me solve 1 minus 6 plus 3 plus 10 this is 8 y is 8 so y naught is 8 and x naught is 1 and m is the derivative of this function so y prime or we can say dy by dx is the m value 
right? So the derivative of x cubed is 3x square minus 6. We have 2x and plus 3 and the 10 derivative is just 0, right? Now we need to find the derivative at x is equal to 1, right? So dy by dx at x is equal to 1, we have 3. 1 squared is 1 minus 2 times 6 is 12 plus 3, right? So we have 3 minus 12 plus 3, that is negative 6. Right, now let me write down the equation of tangent. So the equation of tangent is y minus y naught is 8, m value is negative 6 into x minus 1, right? Or uh, if you simplify, you have y equals to positive 8, negative 6x and positive 6. So y equals to uh, minus 6x and what is 8 plus 6, 14, yes, 14. So this is the equation of tangent to the curve at the point x equals to 1. Now for part b, find the coordinates of the point where this tangent meets the curve again. We need to find the coordinates where the tangent meet the curve. So this is a tangent and this is a curve. So the point of intersection of the um, tangent and the curve we need to find, right? So let me put both of them equal to find the point of intersection. We have the curve is x cubed minus 6x square plus 3x plus 10. This is equals to minus 6x plus 14. Right, shift all the terms to the right side. So we have um, so left side 3x x cubed minus 6x square plus 3x, and shifting this, so we have plus 6x plus 10 minus 14 equals to 0. So x cubed minus 6x square 6, 7, 8, 9, 9x, and 14 take away 10 is 4, 10 minus 14 is minus 4 equals to zero so this is a cubic polynomial right we have to find uh, the coordinates of the point the x and the y coordinates right so we have a cubic polynomial we can find the root of a cubic polynomial by um, long division method or synthetic division method and one point we have already given that the equation of tangent to the curve at a point is x equals to one means the uh, this curve uh, has a tangent at a point when x is equals to 1. So x equals to 1 is already the one of the point of intersection. So let me use uh, synthetic division method here. Okay. So we need to write down the coefficients. The coefficients of x cubed is 1, x squared is minus 6, x is 9 and the constant is minus 4. So 1 is already the point. Shifting this 1, 1 times 1 is 1. Minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. And 1 times 4 is 4. And we have 0 here. Right? So now these are the coefficients for x scale. Uh, the, so the quadratic equation. So uh, this is reduced to x minus 1. And the other is x square minus 5x plus 4 equals to 0 right okay now let me factorize this 1 times 4 is 4 so this is x minus 1 x square minus x minus 4x plus 4 equals to 0 right we have x minus 1 and x is common we have x minus 1 minus 4 is common x minus 1 equals to 0 so x minus 1 x minus 1 and x minus 4 equals to 0. So we have the three roots x is equals to 1, x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 4. So we already have given that at x is equals to 1 the curve has a tangent. So we have to check at x is equals to 4 what is the y value. So we can put that y value into this equation or into the curve that is fine. So uh, let me take y equals to minus 6x plus 14. So y equals to minus 6 times 4 and then plus 14, right? 
so negative 6 times 4 and then add 14 that is equals to negative 10 so y equals to minus 10 so we can say that the coordinates of the point where this tangent meets the curve again uh, the one coordinate is at x equals to 1 and for again it means we need to find the other coordinate so that is x is 4 y is minus 10 question number 6 find the exact value of this integral this is a definite integral we have upper and lower limits 2 and 4 so let me open the scale here first so integration 2 to 4 x square plus 2x plus 1 whole divides x square and dx right so integral 2 to 4 we have x square divides x square plus 2x divides x square plus 1 over x square with respect to dx right so we can cancel the x square this x and we are left with this so integration is going to be 2 to 4 this is 1 plus 2 over x plus x power minus 2 with respect to dx right okay now for let me do the integration now the integration of 1 is x plus 2 1 over x is natural log of x and we have used a power rule x power n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1 upper and the lower limits 2 to 4 right now let me uh, simplify one more step in x plus 2 natural log of x minus 1 over x this is 2 to 4 right now let me substitute the upper and the lower limit upper limit is 4 so we have 4 plus 2 natural log of 4 minus 1 by 4 this is the upper limit minus the lower limit is 2 plus 2 natural log of 2 minus 1 by 2 right now let me open the brackets we have 4 plus 2 ln of 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 2 minus 2 ln of 2 plus 1 by 2 right now let me simplify we have 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 this is 2 and then minus 1 divides 4 and we have plus 1 by 2 plus 1 divides 2 this is 9 by 4 okay 9 by 4 okay plus 2 is common and natural log of 4 minus natural log of 2 I just took the two common okay and the next step we have 9 by 4 2 plus 2 so we have a subtraction so we can divide ln of 4 by 2 right 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 so 9 by 4 plus 2 ln of 2 so this is um, the exact value of the integral Question number seven, a geometric progression has the first term is three and the second term is 2.4. For this progression, find the A part, the sum of first eight terms. So means we need to find S8, right? So the first term is three and the second term is 2.4, right? So we can say the A value is three and what is r the common ratio since we have given that this is a geometric progression second divides first 2.4 divides 3 we will get the common ratio 2.4 divides 3 this is equals to 0 0.8 0 0.8 sorry sum to 8 term not infinity okay so s8 is a into 1 minus r power n over 1 minus r that is the formula so a is 3 into 1 minus r is 0 0.8 and is 8 this is s n okay divides 1 minus 0 0.8 right 1 minus 0 0.8 the denominator first that is 0 0.2 right okay now 0 0.8 exponent 8 1 minus answer times 3 divide 0 0.2 that is 12.48 or we can say 12.5 is the sum to the first eight terms right so s8 we can say is 12.5 
now for part b the sum to infinity s infinity we have to find s infinity has a formula a over 1 minus r so a is 3 over 1 minus 0 0.8 so that is 3 over 0 0.2 so what is 3 by 0 0.2 3 divide 0 0.2 is 15 so this is 15 s infinity is 15 now for part c the least number of terms we need to find the n value for which the sum uh, s is greater this is s n is greater then 95 percent 0.95 of sum to infinity of s infinity right so we have to find uh, the value for n so s n is greater than 0 0.5 times s infinity right so s n has a formula um, a into 1 minus r power n over 1 minus r this is greater than 95 percent of s infinity a over 1 minus r right so as you can see we have the same denominator on both sides of equality we can easily cancel out right now uh, we can cancel a as well right right so now we have 1 point uh, 1 oh, 1 minus uh, r power n is greater than 0 0.95 right r is uh, 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 exponent n is greater than 0 0.95 right now let me simplify we have minus 0 0.8 power n is greater than 0 0.95 shifting one here that is minus one right so 0 0.95 subtract one this is minus 0 0.05 so minus 0 0.8 n is greater than minus 0 0.05 right so now multiplying with the negative sign so we have to reverse the inequality so 0 0.8 exponent n is less than 0 0.05 right so we have the power n so taking log on both sides so n is n log of 0 0.8 is less than log of 0 0.05 okay now let me get the value for n here so n what is log of 0 0.8 uh, log 0 0.8 is minus 0 0.096 is less than log of 0 0.05 log of 0 0.05 that is minus 1.3010 right okay and we have a negative sign on both sides to get rid of this negative we need to multiply this inequality with a negative uh, minus one and we have to change the uh, reverse the inequality sign n is greater than minus 1.3010 divides minus 0 0.096 right so now this is positive 1.3010 um, divides 0 0.096 that is equals to 13.5 so n is greater than 13.5 right so now we need to find the least number of term for which this sum uh, satisfy this condition so the least number of sum so the least value of n is uh, it is that satisfy that is 14 so 14 is greater than 13.5 so we can say n is equals to 14 Question number eight, do not use a calculator in this question. In this question, lengths are in centimeters. Okay, so A part, given that the tri area of the triangle ABC is 5.5 centimeters square, find the exact length of AC. Write your answer in the form of A plus B square root of 3, where A and B are integers. Okay, so area of a triangle we have given. We need to use this information to get the length of AC right so area of triangle ABC is equals to half AB AC and the angle between them the product of the side AB AC and sine of the angle between them that is 30 degree right so area we have given is 5.5 this is equals to 1 by 2 AB is 2 square root of 3 plus 1 and AC and sine of 30 is 1 by 2. 
right so this is 2 times 2 is 4 multiplying with 5.5 so 4 times 5.5 this is 22 so 22 equals 2 square root of 3 plus 1 into AC right and to get the value for AC we have 22 divides 2 square root of 3 plus 1 right but we have to we need the answer in this form a plus b square root of 3 so we have to rationalize we need to multiply and divide with the conjugate of the denominator that is 2 square root of 3 minus 1 over 2 square root of 3 minus 1 so from here 22 times 2 is 44 44 square root of 3 and minus 22 divides 2 times 2 is 4, square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. So 4 times 3 is 12 and minus 1, this is 11, divides 11, right? So the simplified answer is 44 divides 11 is just 4 square root of 3 minus 2. So this is AC. Now for part B, show that BC square equals to C plus D square root of 3 where C and D are integers to be found. BC square. Okay. So we got AC that is 4 square root of 3 minus 2. We have A, B, A, C and the angle. We need to find the front side where you have to use law of cosine here. Okay. Law of cosine on the triangle ABC. Right. So BC scale, we have to find BC scale that is equals to AB scale 2 square root of 3 plus 1 whole scale plus AC scale 4 square root of 3 minus 2 minus 2 times of the product of AB and AC that is 2 square root of 3 plus 1 into 4 square root of 3 minus 2 and cause of the angle between them that is 30 degree okay so now for cause of 30 we have square root of 3 by 2 we have given okay now let me do bc scale this is equals to open the scale we have uh, 4 2 square is 4 square root of 3 square is 3 so 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 plus 2 ab so 2 times 2 is 4 square root of 3 plus 16 times 3 is uh, let me do this 16 times 3 over here 3 times 6 is 18 3 times 1 is 3 and 4 48 right. this is 48 plus 2 square is 4 minus 2 a b so 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 4 is 16 square root of 3 right now we have let me do minus 2 is outside and square root uh, cos 30 is square root of 3 by 2 and let me do the product of this term 2 times 4 is 8 and 8 times 3 is 24 right and minus 4 square root of 3 and times with 1 that is 4 square root of 3 minus 2 right now for further simplification we have 12 plus 1 that is 13 and here we have 16 and 4 so minus 12 square root of 3 48 49 50 51 52 plus 52 2 is cancelled with 2 minus square root of 3 is multiplying with these terms are also cancelled 22 right so here we have uh, 12 minus 12 square root of 3 minus 22 square root of 3 plus 13 and plus 54, 52, sorry. Okay, so 12 and 22. What is 12 and 22? Let me solve here. Yeah. 12 and 22, that is equals to 4 and 3, 34. So this is minus, no, yeah, with a negative sign. Uh, we have uh, 34 square root of 3 and 13 plus 52 is 5 and 6, 65. So this is in the form of C plus D square root of 3, C is 65. 
minus 34 square root of 3 or we can rewrite this as 65 minus 34 square root of 3. So this is BC square. Question number 9 in the diagram OP is 2B, OS is 3A, SR is B and PQ is A. The line OR, this O to R and SQ, S, uh, sorry QS intersect at X. Now for A part find OQ in terms of A and B. O to Q follows the path of OP and PQ. Right. So OQ is OP plus PQ. We have given OP is 2B and PQ is A. So 2B plus A. Right. Is it OQ. Now for part B, find QS in terms of A and B. So QS. QS follows a path of Q to P, P to O and O to S. Right. Okay, so QS, let me write down the path first, QP plus PO plus OS, right. Now, QP is negative 8, this is minus 2B and plus 3A, right. Negative A, sorry, minus A minus 2B plus 3A. So, this is equals to 2A minus 2B. This is QS. Now for part C, given that uh, QX, QX, this QX is mu times of QS, find OX in terms of A, B and mu. Okay, so Q to X is mu times of QS, that is 2A minus 2B. This is given to us, right? We need to find OX. O to X, we have given the QX. So OX follows a path of OP, PQ and QX right okay so o x as a path of o to p p to q plus q to x and o p is 2 b p q is a and this is mu times of 2 a minus 2 b right so the o x is 2 a plus uh, 2 b plus a equals plus mu times 2 a minus 2 b now for part d given that o x is lambda times o r right this is o x lambda times of o r find o x in terms of a b and lambda okay so if i can say what is o to r hmm. this is o r this is OS and SR, 3A plus B, right. First, let me do OR, that is O to S plus S to R. This is 3A plus B, right. This is OX. Now, um, OX is this and lambda times of this, right. So, what is O to X in terms of? Not in terms of mu, we have to find in terms of uh, lambda, right? So, OX, yes, OX is lambda times of OR, that is 3A plus B. This is OX, yeah, and this is also X in terms of mu and in terms of lambda AB. Now, for part E, find the value of lambda and of mu. So, we have, we got two OX with the mu and lambda. So, the first value of OX in from C part we have is 2B plus A plus mu times 2A minus 2B. And OX from part D is lambda times of 3A plus B. Right. So, now we have to equate the two equations. Let me compare the two values. So, we have 2B plus a plus 2a mu minus 2b mu equals to 3a lambda plus b lambda right now if i equate the coefficient of b we have um, 2 over here minus 2 mu here equals lambda right this is my equation one and let me equate the coefficients for a so the coefficient of a is one plus two mu 
equals to 3 lambda. This is my second equation 1 and 2. Right. So let's simplify both the equations. So as you can see, we can add the two equations to cancel two, uh, plus 2 lambda and minus 2 lambda. Yes. Adding the two equations, we have plus 2 mu, sorry, plus 2 mu and minus 2 mu. So we have 3 here equals to 4 lambda and the value of lambda is 3 by 4 right and let me solve the mu from here so we have uh, 2 mu is 3 lambda minus 1 so 2 mu is 3 times of lambda 3 by 4 minus 1 right so let me simplify 3 times 3 is 9 so mu is equals to 1 by 2 of 9 by 4 minus 1 right so 9 divides 4 subtract 1 and times 0 0.5 8 5 by 8 is mu so mu is 5 by 8 and lambda is 3 by 4 so these are the two values for mu and lambda now for part f find the value of uh, qx over xs okay so as you can see where is qx qx and xs the ratio of these two right so qx and we did in part c the qx is as you can see qx is mu times of 2a minus 2b and we have we got the value for mu so let me write down here uh, qx is mu times of 2a minus 2b so mu is 5 by 8 times of 2a minus 2b that is qx okay so and xs if q to x is 5 by 8 of 2a uh, a minus 2b what is x to s if this is 5 by 8 then the other is 3 by 8 this is 3 by 8 2a minus 2b right because the total 5 plus uh, 3 is 8 by 8 is just 1 right okay so now let me write down the ratio qx ratio xs this is 5 by 8 of 2a minus 2b and this is 3 by 8 of 2a minus 2b right now let me cancel 2a minus 2b 8 and 8 so the answer we have is 5 by 3 right now for part g find the value of or ratio ox okay so we did or that is we have this is or or is 3a plus b and ox is lambda times of 3a plus b right now let me write down this value or and ox or is 3 or over ox 3a plus b divides lambda times of 3a plus b lambda times 3a plus b so we can cancel 3a plus b one by lambda is the answer this is equals to 1 over lambda, the reciprocal of lambda. So, lambda is 3 by 4. So, this is 4 by 3. So, this ratio equals to 4 by 3. Question number 8. The number B of bacteria in a sample is given by, this is B, where P and Q are constant and T is a time in weeks. Initially, there are 500 bacteria. So, initially... There are 500 bacteria. So, when time equals to 0, bacteria are 500. So, let me make the equation. B is 500 at T equals to 0. So, we have this information is 500 equals P plus Q e power 0. That is 1. So, 500 equals to P plus Q my first equation right which increased to 600 after one week so bacteria are 600 
of when the time is 1 because time is in weeks right so for the second equation b is 600 and time is equals to 1 right so this b is 600 equals to p plus q e power 2 times 1 is 2 right that is my second equation okay now let me subtract equation 1 and equation 2 right so let me write this down p plus q equals to 500 and p plus q e power e square is 600 let me subtract the two equations and changing the signs to get the and solving for the q value so minus minus and minus so p minus p is zero and we have q minus q so q is common we have one minus e square right and here we have 500 minus 600 is minus 100 right now let me get the value for q from here the q value is 100 divides e square minus 1 i took negative sign common from both sides let me simplify the denominator first we have e square subtract 1 and 100 divide answer that is 15.65 or 15.6 the q value is 15.6 now let me get uh, put the q value into the first equation to solve for p that is 500 minus q right so p is equals to 500 minus q value so p is 500 minus 15.6 500 subtract answer that is 4 84.3 uh, yes p is 484.3 okay so we got the value for a and b which is for the a part we need to find the values for a and of b now for part b find the number of bacteria present after two weeks so the equation b is p plus q e power 2t b equals to p value is 484.3 plus q value is 15.6 e power 2t so when the number of bacteria is present after two weeks so t equals to 2 we can find the b value 484.3 plus 15.6 e power 2 times 2 that is equals to 4 okay now uh, e power 4 times 15.6 and add 484.3 so 1336.031 so b is equals to 1336.031 Three. now for part c find the first week in which the number of bacteria is greater than one million the first week okay so bacteria is greater than one million so this is the equation so b is one million equals to 484.3 plus 15.6 e power 2t right we need to find the first week in which the number of bacteria is more than 1 million right so the uh, the t value uh, we need to round the t value the time so the t is 1 million minus 484.3 divides 15.6 this is equals to e power 2t right and to get the value for t we have to take log on both sides so t is 2t so ln natural log 1 by 2 natural log of 1 million minus 484.3 divides 
15.6 right so let me do 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 zeros minus 484.3 and divide 15.6 doing natural log of answer and uh, dividing by 2 this is equals to 5.53 so the t is 5.53 so t is the number of weeks so we can find the first week in which the number of bacteria is greater than 1 million so we can say that the first week is sixth week which is greater so the we have 5.5 so we have sixth week Question number 11 in A part show that left hand side equals to the right hand side starting from the left hand side we have sin x and tan x is sin by cos sin x over cos x and whole divides 1 minus cos x right and here we have sin times sin is sin square x divides cos x into 1 minus cos x right so what is sin square x so if i use this identity that sin square x plus cos square x equals to 1 so from here sin square x is going to be 1 minus cos square x right let me put the value here so we have 1 minus cos square x divides cos x into 1 minus cos x so this is 1 minus cos square x we have to open the formula of a square minus b square that is 1 minus cos x into 1 plus cos x divides cos x into 1 minus cos x dividing cancelling the like factors right 1 minus cos x and 1 minus cos x we are left with 1 plus cos x over cos x now splitting the numerator so we have 1 over cos x e plus cos x over cos x so 1 by cos is secant x and plus 1 or we can say 1 plus secant x this is my right hand side which is 1 plus secant x part b solve the equation and x is between 0 to 360 degrees okay so we have 5 tangent is sine by cos sine x over cos x and minus 3 cot is cos x over sine x and 2 secant is 1 over cos x right right okay let me take the lcm with uh, sine and cos here so we have uh, 5 sine x is multiplying with sine x that is sine square x minus 3 cos x is multiplying with cos x opposite denominator that is cos square x and the denominator is cos x sine x 2 times of cos x right so let me cancel this cos x and cos x and multiplying this sin x over here so 5 sin square x minus 3 cos square x is 1 minus sin square x and this is equals to 2 times of this sin square x sin x right now let me open this 5 sin square x minus 3 plus 3 sin square x minus 2 sin x equals to 0 so 5 plus 3 is 8 sin square x minus 2 sin x minus 3 equals to 0 so we have a quadratic equation in sin x so 8 times 3 is 24 so and uh, let me make the factors 2 times 12 8. 8 times 3 is 24 and we have uh, 
2 times of 12 is 24 but 2 and 12 it doesn't work out so now 4 times 6 is 24 and 4 minus 6 is minus 2 yes 8 sine square x plus 4 sine x minus 6 sine x minus 3 equals to 0 let me take 4 sine x is common 4 times 2 is 8 sine x plus 1 negative 3 is common 3 times 2 is 6 sine x plus 1 equals to 0 so the factors are 4 sine x minus 3 and 2 sine x plus 1 equals to 0 now we have to put both the factors separately equals to 0 before 4 sine x minus 3 equals to 0 and 2 sine x plus 1 equals to 0 and from here the value of sine x is 3 by 4 with a positive sign and here the value of sine x is minus 1 divides 2 right now let me get the value for x and then we will check on what quadrant sign is positive and negative so let's do this first it is in degrees so convert the calculator into degrees first right so 3 by 4 that is x sine inverse of 3 divides 4 48.59 that is 6 and sine is positive in the first quadrant so that is 48.6 and in the second quadrant and for the second quadrant we do 180 subtract uh, answer so 131.4 degrees right now this is negative let me solve for positive first so sine inverse of 1 divides 2 that is equals to 30 right so sine is negative in uh, third and fourth quadrant and for third quadrant we do 180 plus 30 which is 210 so x is equals to 210 degrees and for the third quadrant we do fourth quadrant is 360 minus the angle 30 330 so all the values lies between 0 to 360 degree these are all the 4x values that satisfy the equation so that was the last question of our paper if you have any queries please let me know in a comment section and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see you next time take care